refrigerator for quite a while. I use mine constantly, so it's always being renewed. Um, if you know you're not going to be able to get to it for a really long time, I, I don't know if, I don't even think you can freeze stuff like that if it would kill the culture or if you okay. took it back out, it would still be good. Because I've just, I'm always using mine, so I've never had a point where I need to store it for quite a while. Need to have a lot of friends that you can pass it around to. Yes, <laughs> um, yeah. So fast. Someone gave me, um, oh, let me think of what it is, something, uh, something Amish bread starter. Uh, uh, oh, yes, friendship. Yes, yes. And um, okay. that was really good. And I used to make this nice little um, breakfast bread out of it, but mm -hmm. then uh, we went away, and my nephew stayed to watch our farm, and I like went through this whole process with him of how to keep this thing going and he messed it up. So I need to find somebody and get a new one, but um, that I know you could put in the freezer. Someone told me if you can't get to it, put it in the freezer. So you might be able to put sourdough in the freezer. I just never have yeah. someone like drying it out too. Um, like somehow drying it, letting it get dried out and then I think he just stored it in a cool dark place and added water and he was ready again. Oh, okay. I think it worked okay, but okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Are you at the Fredonia Farmers Market or Dunkirk? Fredonia. Okay. I'm going to do Dunkirk next year. I wasn't able to start this year just because of time conflict. And you also need to provide your own uh, canopy for Dunkirk and Fredonia. We're provided with canopies and I don't have one, so I need to purchase one. But next year, I will be there. You're still going to be in Fredonia, don't you? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first one. Yeah, so. I would. I would like your recipe for the new lavender cake. Oh, okay. I'll get copies of it and give it to Sarah so she can have them here for people. I should have brought it with me today. I didn't even know Carmen would have been, but I would have brought it with me if I didn't even thought of it. But it's my question how to get that recipe. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it to Sarah, and she, or if you want, you can take one of my cards and just send me an email or give me a call and give me your address and I'll copy and mail it to you or email it to you, whatever. I'll take a card. Okay. Have you ever tried to fry bananas in one of those? No, I have not, because my family doesn't really care for dried bananas. Um, but I'm sure you could do it. <clears throat> and I know um, some fruits tend to turn brown when you dry them. There's some sort of, you can either sprinkle lemon juice on them to keep that from happening, or I believe there's some sort of um, powder thing you can buy. I'm not familiar with the name of it, but I just use lemon juice to keep things from turning brown because apples especially will start to oxidize and turn brown. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that the air is on there. But if you don't like it to look brown, just sprinkle some lemon juice on it. Any other questions? Um, what about other like veggies? Other like veggies you've tried that work well or maybe haven't worked as well for you? <coughs> Some things you can't dry. It just doesn't work out well. Um, tomatoes, of course, dry beautifully. Squash, surprisingly, you can dry. Everyone always wondered, you know, when you got squash coming out your ears, you're coming out your door, your neighbors left some on your porch, and you're trying to, it's crazy. People are always like, what can you do with it? You either have to eat it right away or you know, like you can't freeze it, it turns to mush. But you can dry squash and then just put it in a bag, throw it in your freezer, and in the winter, if you're making a soup or a stew, you just take it out, throw them in there, you know, it'll reconstitute in whatever you're making. And that's a great way to get squash in the middle of winter, especially summer squash, which a lot of people really enjoy, but look, it's here and then it's gone. But you can preserve it. Uh, how about eggplant? Eggplant? I've never done personally, but I don't see why you couldn't. Because that's the same thing if you don't process it with a way Right. Usually we bread it and fry it and then put it in bags and freeze it. So you can just take it out if you want Parmesan or whatever. But I'm sure you could dry it. I just never have. Have you ever tried drying winter squash? No, I have not because that usually stores well. 
but I'm sure you could if you wanted to. You know, we just keep ours in big baskets covered with straw in the garage and it stays good all winter. So Wegmans has this their string beans and you eat them as a snack, dried. Have you ever tried that? No, usually I freeze beans. Beans get frozen at my house. I've never tried them dried. Well they're a snack, like you know. Yeah. I'll have to I don't get to Wegmans often, but I'll have to the produce good. section. Do they have them in the produce section? No, well, they had, they were in little, uh, contain, little plastic containers, you know, like cool whip containers. Right. Oh, okay. They had all they're, different dried veggies and with it. They're very good. Okay. Where are nice. they in the stores, which you did? They were on an end aisle somewhere. We had the store that I found them at. Oh, okay. All right. Where do you buy straw and also where do you buy rotten mulch hay? I don't know. No, you could no, come no, to no. Farmer's Market and ask. Um, we don't get hay from the same people every year. I just get it wherever it's available and mostly because we're just looking for bedding hay for our animals. We don't need eating hay, so I'll just get whatever well, seconds straw. are available. Uh, if you don't have access to straw or hay, you can use newspaper. That, as long as it's covered from the light and in a cool, dry place, you can use newspaper. And it's not going to hurt it anymore. Privateers have straw. Privateers have bailed straw. Oh, I, I, yeah, they do. I'll check them out. They don't always. I just had a thought about the hay, too. Sometimes I'll hear about people, um, like farmers who maybe have old hay up in their barn and they're just trying to get rid of it. Um, so if I, actually I'd wax them as a person who I think was looking to get rid of some stuff that was really too old to use for like food. So, I would love to have a big stack. I used to get some from a neighbor and I would use it in certain ways to keep the weeds and the brambles down. Mm -hmm. So I have a big yard and it's just too much. Uh, Any other questions from Mindy? All right. Interesting. Well, thank you for being here. Yes, thank you for having me. Any other questions for Mindy? All right. Interesting. Well, thank you for being here. Yes, thank you for having me.